guys, you four are pretty much the toughest guys in school, right? What would it take to get you to beat up Mike Pulaski? Mental Mike? Are you kidding? Come on, guys, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll give you a swallow Friday. You mean a follow Friday? Oh, I've been doing Twitter all wrong. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll just pay you. Oh, yeah? Well, you're looking at a thousand bucks for something like that. A thousand dollars? Right. But it's gonna be hard to get that kind of money. I mean, I'm not Judge Judy. Hi, I'm Judge Judy. I get paid $45 million a year to yell at people who have nothing. Now, here's an ad about a fat people disease you have. We now return to B-E-T-E-T. -E -E -T. Don't you need to phone home? Nah, I do it later. What's going on? Did that kid from the future come back? <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Meg, are you okay? You guys, I've tried everything, but it's hopeless. He's going to kill me. I can already picture my funeral. Thanks, didn't want to pay for the hole. This is such a nightmare! But at least I have you guys. I don't know what I would do without you. Yeah, uh, about that. Listen, Meg, we decided that maybe it's best if you don't talk to us anymore. Yeah, we could be targeted by association. I don't want to get beaten up by a guy unless it's in a limo after prom. So, you're all gonna ditch me when I need you most? Yeah, Meg, it's natural selection. This is how it works in the wild. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. Hey, nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow, I could go for some corn. <laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. Good luck, Meg. Now we must retreat into the shadows. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Sounds like you have a pretty big problem, Meg. Huh? Mr. Quagmire? What are you doing in here? This is my base of operations. Uh, Mr. Quagmire, the girls' gym class will be in the showers in 20 minutes. Thank you, Shirley. She's been with me 12 years. It's her birthday today. Didn't get her anything. Urgh. So I guess you heard about the fight, huh? Oh, yeah, they're talking about it in all the girls' bathrooms. I'm so dead. No, you're not. Because I'm gonna help you defeat Mike Pulaski. You are? That's right. Be at my house first thing tomorrow morning, and we'll get started. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Quagmire. Well, I better get home. <laughs> What a good way to get around town. Okay, Meg, you got a bully problem, and I'm gonna help you. But, Mr. Quagmire, why would you want to help me? Because I was once in your shoes, Meg. I wasn't always the confident guy you see before you. You see, I too was terrorized by a bully. It was 1986, and the Cola Wars were at a frenzy. I was sitting in the RC section of the cafeteria when Tracy Bellings approached. Why aren't you drinking Coke, you dork? Pepsi would also be acceptable. It doesn't have to be a two-cola system. RC is what keeps the big guys on their toes. You know what RC stands for, don't you? Chicks rule. She was dyslexic. Anyway, that was the beginning of a long, abusive relationship. It's one thing if you put your penis inside out in the safety of your own bedroom. But to have it done in the cafeteria? To this day, I can't have sex with a woman against her will without thinking about rape. And that's why I'm gonna help you, Meg. I never faced my bully. I don't want you to make the same mistake. But how? Over the years, I've tested the limits of the human body. How much it can stuff in, swallow, or choke on. How a scrotum can be stretched into a makeshift sail if stranded at sea. All this knowledge is gonna help you win your fight. Oh, thanks, Mr. Quagmire. I'll take any help I can get. I haven't been this scared since my dad stopped showering for six months. Great meatloaf, Mom. Thanks, honey. Hungry! Hungry! Pour food on my pile! Okay, Peter. Here you go. Mm. I will assimilate this new smell into the larger borg of my smells. 